Malian troops may be at war with rebel groups, but an organization based in Paris called the International Federation for Human Rights says they're also using tactics that violate a global code of conduct. We have 11 people that have been executed in Severi, in the military camp, near the hospital, and also uh, near the bus station. In Nyono, two Tuareg uh, Malian citizens have been killed uh, by Malian soldiers. Of course, many other information are coming to us uh, regarding uh, roughly 20 other cases of violations. The group wants observers sent in as part of a UN Security Council resolution to protect human rights. They say Malian troops need better training. The French have sent 2,300 troops to Mali. They've just released this video showing airstrikes on two rebel bases in northern Mali. The army has confirmed the attacks. It's part of a campaign to take back the north from rebels. And now some of the rebels appear to be backing down. Members of Ansar Adin say they've set up a breakaway group that's willing to talk rather than fight. They say they want a peaceful solution. A former leader of Ansar Adin told Malian radio station RFI they'll be known as the Islamic movement for Azawad, the part of northern Mali that rebels took from the government and now control under strict Islamic law. They say they want a peaceful solution and want to distance themselves from Al-Qaeda's North African wing, also fighting in Mali. Thank you. Thank you. The new group says it's already been in touch with mediators from Algeria and Burkina Faso. But it could be a last-ditch attempt to appear moderate by a rebel group losing ground to an international force. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.